How we doing today, guys? Uh, Sunday, November the 10th, I do believe. 10th, 11th, somewhere in there. But uh, it's uh, 2.30 in the afternoon, and we got some yucky weather coming in. It's going to get cold. It's going to rain. Don't know for sure what else it's going to do. Probably snow, but they're talking down in the teens and could get wet and such like that. So what we're doing today is we are going to ram up and get the 49 and the ripper. I uh, got some ends that I've wanted to rip for the last several years and we never really got a good chance to do it in the fall so we've kind of let it go and we want to get that done today. We want to get it done before it rains. So we've been to dinner with the family and such this afternoon and got home and figured it was a good time to do this because if it doesn't rain today, uh, John and Dad will be running the thing tomorrow. And they don't usually like to work on Sunday, so they're not working on it today. And we don't usually work on Sunday unless we have to, but we got a good day to do it, so we're going to run up here to the farm and get the tractor. Check this out. 49.55. All original. Except for the front tires. I think we replaced them twice. Just like she came, boys. Full stack of weights on the front. I think it's got 4,000 hours on. And we're going to be pulling this straight ripper. Everyone kind of calls it something different, but it's a straight ripper. Ours are offset a little bit, but that's the way it is. Well, what we'll do is we're going to take this thing and we're going to run it anywhere. The semis drove in the field. We parked the trucks in the field. The ends of your fields get turned on and they get beat on a lot. And since we know till, we'll take this thing out and we'll run it. Now we're gonna get some video of it running in the field. Kylie's gonna bring the drone out and try to follow it. I see we do have a flat tire. It's all right. We'll stop there and get some air. And this thing, what it does, it'll just pick the ground up and set it back down. We're gonna be running about 12 and a half inches deep, somewhere around in that neck of the woods today. And we're gonna, uh, believe it or not, this ripper right here will stop this tractor. So it's kind of fun to pull. We don't run it very much. We don't run it a lot. Uh, we get it out, this, basically all we ever do with it is do our ends. Now we did have some places where water laid and water laid there for a long time. And believe it or not, water is pretty heavy and it does pack the ground really bad. So we're gonna run over a few spots like that. I'm hoping I'm gonna get finished and it's probably gonna be dark before I do because like I say, it was, I've been here a half hour now getting things going. So it's probably gonna be dark when we get finished but we're gonna go do some ripping and get ready for winter, I guess. All right, back in my pocket. 49.55, uh, ladies and gentlemen. I think it's a 90. Don't quote me. And I'll ask Dad if I think about it for sure. Or I'll put in the comments or something what year it is. She's a warrior. Let's climb up in Mission Control and check out the inside a minute, and then we're getting at it. one thing cabs tight but it's clean in here uh, dad put 
all new interior in it uh, two years ago, I do believe. You can see everything's all the way it should be. And we'll get down here. We'll see if we can get this on camera. Yeah, light shining on it, but you can see 3,900. There it is, 3,969.8 hours. All right, let's go make it work. All right, we're running down the road here, heading to my house. We just left the car and we're walking around the river there. Uh, one of the tires is flat on it. It's had a slow leak in it for a while. I should take it off and get it fixed. We'll see what the weather does today. We're going to put air in it. We're going to go out and rip some heads. See how we get along. Depending on the weather, I know Jockey wants to run this thing too. We're much around. Pretty sure Dad does too. So. But uh, just turned over to 3,970 hours. May not get it turned over to 4,000 hours this year. Alright, we're getting ready to get on the main road. Alright, we're back here at my place. We're going to uh, get some air put in that tire. I did call ahead and ask Kylie to get the air hose out for me, and she did. So she's got it strung over and got it on, and make sure the regulator's turned on. It is. She might make a good farm hand after all, guys. If she was just out here to do it for me, it'd be better, but I can take care of that. Right. Sit down here on the ground. I have lowered the implement down quite a ways. I'm not going to be getting under anything here. So, I'm going to go ahead and get some air put in this thing. I do feel bad because this, this has been doing this for several years now, and we none of us have ever taken the time to fix the darn thing. So... Oh, there she comes. Yeah. Hey, go get the tire gauge for me, will you? What? The tire gauge. It's in the fourth drawer down, underneath where it says 2000. Seventy. Uh, that's what we'll put in it. Hopefully, it'll hold up. Thank you. Forty. Are you building? Yeah. Why? Right. Yep. Yeah. You gonna bring the drone out? Okay. Well, I'm going to get down. The only feel I think I'm going to do is that bottom feel that's in there. Check this here again. Ah, we're over 50. We're good. We'll check it before John takes it. See how much he wants to put in it. We're only going to be running. Like I say, we're not running very much. I'm going to, uh, well, I guess I'm just going to go down here and back up against Kathy's old house and start right there. Okay. Just bring that truck down because you can drive. And another thing, I'm only going to be doing the end rows. I'm not going on out in the field or anything, so if you pull in, just don't park on the end rows. Okay. Hey, if you want, 
you can just go on down to Sam's down there between those down there and park in there because I'm going to start up and then my first pass is going to go along the road. And there's going to, I'm going to have to do it. Yeah, just go clear down there to the corner and start if you want. All right, we got her routed around. She's going to take the drone out and fly around this. Get the hose out of the driveway here. All right. Forty-nine fifty-five, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go see if we have any compaction. All right, Kylie forgot the drone. No, Kylie forgot the the uh, drone control, so she ran back up to the house and get it. So we're just gonna do a little walk around here so you can see what we're doing here. See this ground right here? This is what it looks like after we run it on it. 
I'm actually running right on top of cornrows, trying to anyway. And because I'm when I come back in here uh, next next spring, I'll be planting between the rows. But uh, got the ripper in the ground here, and like I say, we just went ahead and stopped so Kylie could go get the drone. Wanted you just to see what it looked like while it's in the ground, and I'll get the camera out here and put on it, and maybe you can see something. Uh, all right.
Alright guys, got another end successfully finished here. Uh, I'm gonna look, look out the window here. See what it looks like there. We've done 30 of the 32 rows that we have along the ends here. And the reason for doing this is parking semis out there and loading with grain cars and such. But you can see, we didn't tear it up at all, hardly. And I don't know how you'll be able to see it, but I did have a camera back on the draw bar of the tractor. And hopefully if you look between the, the uh, ripper shanks back here when it's in the ground, you can see the ground just rise up just a little bit and it sets back down. That's all this thing's designed to do. And then what that does is it doesn't disturb all of our organic material on top of the ground. That we've been working pretty hard to get here. Yeah. Alright, we're going to go down and we're going to do a spot that made water for most of the summer and it should be pretty it's dried up now so we're going to go down we're going to do it quick and then we've got some uh, ends on the bottom 80 acre field to do right along the road and then we should be finished so we'll get down there and get you back when we get down there all right this is the spot here right in this field right here 13 acre field here Got about an acre that laid underwater for quite a while. So we're just going ahead and ripping it. Some spots are still pretty wet. And I got to cheat it up in a couple spots. But the majority of it's pretty good shape here. And just trying to get it. And we're slipping all 9, 10, 11 percent slip with the tires. That means we're spinning, pulling it through the field. We got about uh, one, two more pass, one more pass right here. Then we're going to do a strip, strip, strip on the end there. Sixteen percent strip. It's really a lift to the ground back there. It's too bad I don't have a camera back there now. Just gotta be careful going down along this. Cross waterway, a filter strip here along the ditch here. There's some stones in it, such like that. And we're gonna just make uh oh, looks like on a down and back pass here, just along the edge here. And it'll probably be a little wet because it's covered with grass, has been sprayed.
field. Well, let's just see how the weather goes. This field and the three acre field might be pretty good candidates to get done if the weather permits us to get it finished this fall. We'll just have to see. Now we're going to run to the next field, a 80 acre field that we only got 50 acres corn planted in this year. We're going to do the uh, we're going to do the one end on that field. The only one related to semi. I'm pretty sure that's all there. And there's a couple spots up along the grass driveway that we're going to get into a little bit. Ripping the ripper though, it's all that matters. We'll 
get you back here shortly. All right, we got the 49 backed up in here. I uh, just wanted to see if we, how this camera worked in the dark with these, just the lights on, see how it worked. Uh, but uh, like I say, the Ripper is a DMI 2500. Does have a little bit of mud on it from a couple spots that we were in, but you'll have that on a big job. Um, sitting here, ready for Uncle John to use or Dad, whoever going to run it. Don't know for sure. We'll climb up in it. Left the lights on so I could see to get in the truck. So I'm going. This thing smells like it's. Must have been leaking gas real bad. Huh. Got the side off though. Don't know what story. Is. Climb up in here and make sure I got everything. Appears that I did. Oh, forgot my sunglasses. All right. 